Hey y'all, so I am back. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys my perfume collection and I'm going to try to go through each one of them and tell you what it is. I'm not going to describe the scents and all of that because it is a lot. And once we get inside of the cabinet, I don't know how that's going to work because I don't really want to pull everything out. But if y'all want to see my perfume collection, then keep on watching. perfume cabinet it's the same one that i had in my other place and everything this is actually from target and i don't know what it's actually intended to be used for but i keep my perfumes in it um i think you could use it for a tv or something if you wanted to but yeah this is what i have my perfumes in so this is from target i did glitter out the knobs myself um and this glittery tray came like this and i got this from hobby lobby during the holiday season this picture in the back is a picture that my friend drew of me who does tattoos this little thing i don't know where i got this from ross or burlington one of those but yeah i just kind of wanted to go through that so y'all kind of know where some of the little decor and pieces are from and these large diamonds are also from hobby lobby so let's get into the actual perfumes okay so we're gonna start off with what's on top on top i usually put like recent pickups you know new stuff that i want to use or other fragrances that are just my faves so a lot of my favorites are on top as well so that will kind of give you an idea in the back back here i have the very sexy uh very sexy c it's a mist spray um like the body spray and the lotion because i picked these up recently so i have those and i actually also do have the perfume which we will get to that once we get on that side but next over here in this little section i have my j'adore perfume by christian dior love this i also have my dolce and gabbana the one this one has like a little little bit left in it so i haven't thrown it away yet um but it's kind of like decoration right now but it has a little bit left in there that i need to finish spraying out i love this scent as well the next one I'm not going to keep saying I love this one because I love all of them, but this one is called Lolita Limpica, and I love this bottle because it's like a little apple. It gives me fairy tale vibes like Snow White. Um, and then right here, I have the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. This is actually the same thing as this one. It's just in a different kind of bottle, and this one, you get more perfume in it. So yeah, I already purchased the backup, but I just need to finish spraying what's in there. I really already started using that one. This is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And it looks like the shoe, super cute bottle. Love that one as well. And then right here, we have the Marc Jacobs Decadence. I think I told y'all before, this was one of my favorites, like whenever it first came out. So I really do still love this one. And I actually have another bottle of this on the inside which i will show y'all later this is the aqualina pink sugar the original one also back here i have elizabeth Arden white tea and this is just a really fresh scent i like to wear this like after getting out the shower and stuff or to go to bed with um this one is one of my absolute favorites this is britney spears fantasy and then I have a dossier fragrance right here. I believe this one is the one that smells like Alien, which is this perfume that I have right here. So this is Alien, and this is by Theory Mugler. Love this. Really fresh. Smells great. This one is called Flower Bomb, and this is by Victor and Rolf. This is another um, Aqualina Pink Sugar, but this is the sensual one. So it kind of gives you a little bit more nighttime than the original. This is Versace Yellow Diamond. And then over here we have the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy C. And this is the perfume version of the body spray that I showed you. And then coming over here to the side, we have this fragrance which is betsy johnson i believe it's just called betsy betsy johnson that's just the name of it and it's by betsy johnson i really like this bottle though it's really cute and it smells really good and then we have the Nicki minaj fragrance i don't remember what it's called oh pink friday 
So yeah, Pink Friday by Nicki Minaj. Lastly, up here we have the Juicy Couture perfume. And this is the Viva La Juicy fragrance from Juicy Couture. So that is everything that's on the top section. Now we're getting into what we have in here. And this is gonna be, okay. This is gonna be the hard part because I do not wanna take all of this stuff out, y'all. I really don't. Okay, let's see. I have the Turquatic by MAC fragrance from MAC. And then next to that, I have this little ball, which is the Britney Spears Fantasy. The side has the regular Fantasy, and on the bottom, it has the midnight one, so it kind of like opens up. And I have that twice. I have the small one and a bigger one. I have Prada Candy, the original. This is almost gone. This is Fantasy Forbidden. No, Fantasy Hidden. This one is Fantasy Hidden by Britney Spears. And then I also have this one as well, which is the Fantasy Midnight. Y'all know I love me some Britney Spears Fantasy for sure. This is another Fantasy, a smaller one like for travel. This is the Versace Crystal Noir. I love this one. It's very good in the winter time, like one of my favorites for winter. Um, over here in the corner, this is the Katy Perry Meow. Her little thing fell off the necklace part of the cat, but these are super cute. I have two of these. It's a different one. Um, this is a Ralph Lauren scent. I don't even know. It's Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren, Ralph by Ralph Lauren, I guess. And then I have another Ralph by Ralph Lauren. This is the cool one. And this is Ellen Tracy Exotic. I don't even know what this is. As you can see, it's full. I think this was just something cheap that I picked up one day. And then box back here. This is a fresh box of the Fantasy, because of the big one like this. I never like to run out of this because this is my favorite, favorite of all time and back here in this box i also have a pink sugar a brand new one this is another product candy but i'm not sure what this one is called it's, it has something else behind the product candy this one is like softer than the original i have this britney spears perfume um in control curious that one I have a Vera Wang Princess. This one kind of smells like um, Aqualina Pink Sugar. It's like a cheaper one that I used to spray on and like mix. This one is called Hot Pink by Delicious. I think I've seen somebody online say that it was similar, so I ended up picking it up. Then I have Hypnotic. I don't know who this is by. It's almost gone. Probably oxidized. This is another Katy Perry. This one is called Purr instead of Meow. This is a Hollister perfume. Been in here for forever. Really forgot that I had this. Some of these I need to pull out and use or push them to the front. This is Victoria's Secret Love is Heavenly. This is a guest perfume. I think it's just guess, guess by guess. This is by J Lo. The little thing that was on it came off. This is Glow by J Lo. It's like a real fresh scent. Victoria's Secret Pink perfume. Super old. Some of these they don't even make anymore. A Harajuku perfume. This one is really empty, but I just kept it because it's so cute. It's like a little doll. This is BCBG Max Ezria. This is Very Sexy by um, Victoria's Secret. This is Love Struck by Vera Wang. The floral something. I don't know. This is a uh, Victoria's Secret Hope Pink. This is BCBG Max Azria. I think it's called Bonjeri or something like that. Real cute bottle though. And it smells good. This one is called Elizabeth James Nirvana White. Um, I think this was by the Twins. It smells really good. Uh, Mary Kate Ashley. This one is Justin Bieber's Key. Cute bottle, smells nice. 
this one is Perry Ellis. I think it's Perry Ellis by Perry Ellis. This is a Victoria's Secret bombshell perfume. We have a Gucci. This is Gucci Envy Me 2. Kardashian perfume. Gold, I believe. These are Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Hot and Very Sexy Dare. Also have the smaller ones of those. This is from Zara. I don't know what it's called. Zara Gold. This smells really nice also and it's really neat how it does that. Ed Hardy by Christian Audige. Y'all remember this. It smells so good but it's like old school now. Some stuff, I don't care if it's old school, I'll still buy it, but I've had that for forever. This one was by Snooki, which is by uh, Nicole Pelosi. Y'all remember the show that she was on, and it smells sweet. This is Paris Hilton. I think this was her first one that she ever came out with, um, but I have repurchased this several times. This one is called Gucci Rush. And you spray it from this side. Then I have these two by J Lo. This is the Jennifer Lopez Lux, and this one is the Jennifer Lopez Live. I like these bottles also. They give me like magic potion vibes. And then right here I have another uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence, and this one was like in a special edition packaging. So it's the same like this, but it's gold all over. Gucci Guilty, is it? No, not Gucci Guilty, Gucci Premier. We have a Rihanna fragrance. I'm not sure what this one was called, and I can't really see, let's see. Yeah, I can't see it. Y'all know what this is though. It was the first one I think that she ever came out with. And then I have the original Juicy Couture perfume. And I also have this, what was this called? Bellagio. And it's like similar to like, I guess it's from the hotel or like in Paris or whatever. This is by Michelangelo. And it opens up like this. It's the same fragrance, but you have two sides. Which is neat. I always thought the bottle was cool. It's Paris Hilton's Can Can, another really sweet Aqualina Pink Sugar type of scent. It's Paris Hilton perfume. This one is Just Me by Paris Hilton. And then I have two of these. And this is the Eris, I believe. Is it Eris? Yeah, Eris by Paris Hilton. I had two of those. This one is from Victoria's Secret. Um... This is Seduction by Victoria's Secret. This is the Lady Gaga perfume that looks like a grenade. I'm not sure. I think it was just called Lady Gaga. And then this is a Victoria's Secret perfume called Love Me. And I like this bottle. Super cute. And then right here, I have a few different ones from Dossier. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to go through those but yeah at the bottom these are a lot of body sprays so i don't really feel like i need to go through all of them but i'll just kind of try to show y'all and then i also have like my scent burnt fragrances down here as well and like some of my different oils and stuff i'm knocking shit over Put the camera so we could do the bottom row um so i could show y'all what's in here so over here these are two victoria's secret paint on type of fragrances that are like this for brush on types. Um, and then I have like a lot of small little bottles down here like this little bitty one and this little bitty one like cute little ones that you would put like in your purse or whatever or if you're traveling. These are Juicy Couture fragrances and they're like this like a balm so you could throw this in your purse as well and you kind of use your finger to kind of rub it on you. Um, and they're all four different scents of Juicy Couture. And then, let me move this up for y'all can see. And we have Scentbird fragrances right here. And then I also have another full basket of Scentbirds in there. If y'all can see that, let's try to get closer. So yeah, all of these are Scentbird fragrances. And back here in the back, all of these, it came with six of them. And they're made like this. And these were a Sex in the City 
sets and they all have different names um and they don't stay on that good i kind of wore them as body sprays and like collector's edition so i still have those back there all six of those and then in this little thing this used to be a candle in here but i just kept it and then i put all of my little samples like this that you would get like from sephora or whenever you go to the store in there i have some of my copycat fragrance oils right here and these are like replicas of other perfumes but they're an oil version so i like to wear these at night if y'all remember i used to do videos for them a long time ago i have some mini body sprays right here victoria's secret these are like dossier little samples this one is a little beyonce perfume um and then i also have more body sprays i have heavenly victoria's secret these are some that were from bath and body works i think three of those different ones beauty rush um this is from bath and body works and then i have a lot more back here that are bath and body works if y'all can see so yeah it's just a bunch of different body sprays here and then right here in the front these are two perfumes that i had by um chloe and lamar the unbreakable ones i have the joy and the love one i actually use these more so to kind of spritz on versace after his bath um they're a unisex fragrance i wear them sometimes like you know for bed or whatever but i use them on versace mostly and then down here i just have a lot more body sprays and stuff like that all from different brands mostly uh victoria's secret and bath and body works and then i also do have some mixed in that are like actual perfume brands like this kim kardashian one um and yeah i have some other brands down here oh this is one of my favorites love me by victoria's secret is the same as this this is one of my favorite scents so yeah that's what i have down here a bunch of damn body sprays all different kinds victoria's secret bath and body works mostly so let's see if i can just kind of give y'all an overview of what's all in there and it does go all the way to the back so yeah okay guys so that's my perfume collection i hope you guys enjoyed it i have been meaning to make this video for a long time so i hope y'all enjoyed it maybe you learned a new scent that you want to go and try out so yeah thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much bye guys